So we have just gotten our first look of Mr. Dave McRae as Freddy Krueger in Cecil Laird's upcoming high-end fan film, Dylan's New Nightman. Holy hell, he looks good. But Dave! What's happening, my fellow ghouls and ghoulettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. This is just a fun little video going over some newly released photos from Cecil Laird's upcoming high-end fan film, Dylan's New Nightmare. Now, for those who don't know what Dylan's New Nightmare is, it is a fan film that has been crowdfunded and it has just finished filming and is now in post-production. But the cool thing is, it stars Dave McRae as Freddy Krueger. If you don't know who Dave McRae is, he's a voiceover artist, but's also here on YouTube doing a lot of Halloween related content. He does watch alongs with his friend, Tony Michael. They have a live podcast together called Two Dudes and Some Bullshit. Now, originally there was a concept trailer from three years ago, and I will link it down below, that Cecil shot. And Cecil was able to get Miko Hughes. So Dylan's New Nightmare is a sequel to Wes Craven's New Nightmare. We see now Dylan is all grown up. So Miko is still playing the character of Dylan, Heather and Camp's fictional son. And we see he's being terrified again by Freddy, or in this case, the entity that is portraying Freddy from Wes Craven's New Nightmare. So three years passed when the pandemic hit, Cecil went back to the drawing board and refined the script and just made certain changes to the overall production. And as of a few weeks ago, they filmed the short film in Phoenix, Arizona, which meant Dave had to fly from Toronto, Canada down to Phoenix, Arizona. And everything was so well kept in terms of being a secret. Uh, the look of Freddy was not revealed until last night. So I woke up to a bunch of new photos of not only Dave as Freddy, but also Miko Hughes as Dylan and a few other cast members that have apparently been in some Friday the 13th films. Now the fan film is still being crowdfunded. You can still contribute. I will leave the link down below. And I just want to preface this, like John Campier says, I'm not being paid for this video. After seeing a video of Dave McRae and Cecil Led the other day, kind of debriefing about filming and whatnot, I reached out to Cecil and said, any way that I can, I want to help putting the good word out there. Um, they did announce that the photo of Dave, the teaser photo of Dave as Freddy was gonna drop on Tuesday, so Wednesday morning here. And here we are, I just wanna talk about it, I wanna get the good word out there and I wanna support this because I know how hard fan films are to make. Now the producer of Dylan's New Nightmare is Vincent DeSanti and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Now Vincent is very familiar with fan films and if that name is familiar to you, Vincent has done Never Hike Alone and and never hike in the snow, two very high-end Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees fan films. If you haven't checked them out, highly recommend them. They're fucking incredible. So yeah, Vincent's on as a producer. We've got Cecil directly, we've got Miko Hughes, we have Dave McRae as Freddy Krueger. And what I wanna really talk about today is the newly released image of Dave in his Freddy Krueger makeup done by the brilliantly talented Nora Hewitt who won season nine of Face Off. We also see Dave in his Freddy Krueger wardrobe and we also get a good look at the glove. So here's the photo they released of Dave in his Freddy Krueger makeup and I was half asleep. Like I just woke up, checked my phone and the first thing on my feed was this and I thought, Holy shit, that's, I've never seen that shot from Freddy's Revenge before. And then I saw the Dylan's New Nightmare logo and I saw that Dave posted, I'm like, fuck off. That's not Dave. This makeup looks incredible. I didn't know if they were gonna be going the route of the Wes Craven's New Nightmare look with the split skin and then the muscle showing through. But from what I can see, and this is the only image we have, they're going the route of something very similar to Freddy's Revenge, which from what I can remember is one of Dave's favorite makeups. So I don't know if Dave had input. When Nora was sculpting the makeup, I have no idea. But I love this, and they're using the new Nightmare sweater. Now the difference with the new Nightmare sweater is the red and green actually flip, so it's the opposite. Instead of having the, the red, the red cuff, the red collar and whatnot, it's actually the green cuff, green collar. Looking at this, the fedora is very reminiscent of part two and part four, but extremely charred, and we've got like the burn holes and stuff like that. But just looking at this, I can't get over the fact I can't see Dave. It's so, Cool, and he looks like he's in his element. It's been really interesting to hear his process, even though he's been very secretive about it. And he's really putting his heart and soul into this. And that's why I'm just so excited. And that's why I wanted to talk about it today and just kind of spread the word for people who don't know that this fan film is happening. So I do believe they're aiming to get the film out summer 
in the States next year, which is pretty good. So obviously they've got to start doing editing, they've got to do Foley, sound mixing the score and stuff like that. But dude, he looks incredible. His eyes are haunting as well. Just the darkness around his eyes, just everything. He's got it down pat. And Dave said he doesn't want to do an impression of Robert Englund. This has to be the essence and the spirit of Freddy, even though this is the Freddy that is essentially an entity. I look at this, and that's Fred fucking Kruger. <laughs> now here's a really good shot of the glove. This was actually filmed by Cecil who was doing a live video right before they started filming when all the crew had arrived in Phoenix, Arizona. Now the gloves were built by Mark over at Nightmares Unlimited, which is really cool. Getting a member of, of the glove community in on this, I think it's really cool. The glove itself in terms of the design is a mix up and a mash up of the bone claw from New Nightmare and also hints of the part four glove with the back plate under there. So it's really interesting with the design. They've got some veining going on with, with the finger stalls and whatnot and a really black darkened leather glove. And those talons look absolutely badass. Very reminiscent of the new Nightmare glove, especially how they're mounted as well. Just that kind of bone aesthetic. Now, a couple of other stills they release is a really good shot of Miko Hughes. And I had no idea, Miko hasn't acted in 20 years. He's still been doing the convention scenes and stuff like that, because he loves doing all that. But for the most part, he's been doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff from memory. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think he's been doing a lot of sound work, but again, behind the camera stuff. So he was quite nervous going into this apparently. But from what I've heard, he's just absolutely killed it. And I I think it's so cool for him to return to the character of Dylan that he did such a damn good job at even though he was a tiny little tyke. It was so cool to see a child actor just like really bring it. Going into a Wes Craven film, you know it's going to be psychologically damaging, full on and horrific and for a child actor to really bring their A-game like that, it was impressive to see. So for him to return to this character all these years later. I'm really excited to see where this goes. Now they also released an image of Mr. Ron Sloan, who's from Friday the 13th part five, who makes an appearance in this fan film. And also Cindy Kanea, Kanea? I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, she's from Friday the 13th part six, and she plays Dr. Sarah Sybil in Dylan's new nightmare. So kind of in the same vein as Vincent DeSante's Friday the 13th fan films, he managed to get some returning actors from the original Friday the 13th series. So it's very cool when it comes to fan films to some of the OG cast from the films that we know and love and grew up with want to be a part of it. And that's pretty much it, ghouls and ghoulettes. I just wanted to geek out, wanted to jones about this stuff. Also just wanted to spread the word for people that aren't aware of what's happening with Dylan's New Nightmare because it was halted for quite some time. Again, I will leave the link to the original trailer and the link to the Indiegogo campaign website. I think also I'm buzzing because it's just something Freddy related that we're getting because who the hell knows what's going to happen with the whole Blumhouse thing trying to acquire the rights and pitch to the Wes Craven estate. So who knows when we're going to get a brand new Freddy film. But for now, this will do more so. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts of what you think of Dave McRae's look as Freddy Krueger. I'm so happy for him. I'm stoked for him. I can't wait to see what he does with the character, with the mannerisms, with the voice. So... I'm very giddy at the moment. Guys, wherever you are in the world, please have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly. And until next time, ghouls and ghoulettes, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.